Hey you guys, welcome back, yeah. Yeah, yeah, been a long time, no see, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the episode of Midnight Energy Thursdays, huh? 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 Yeah, pick up, pick up, pick up. My eyes are closed. Open them up, open them up, open them up. I'm your girl, M-E, me for short, M dot E if you're nasty. Yeah. And today we're going to be, ah, 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 ah. It's one of y'all, Miss. Mm-hmm. Today we're going to be reviewing the She Clam Harry Potter collab. And don't act crazy. Roll the intro. Okay, you guys, so, um, yeah, I'm excited. Let's do some makeup. I'm not going to have my glasses on the whole time. I'm about to take them off. I just want to see for a bit, like, dang. And I'm about to hold me hostage because I got my wand on the ready. It's long. Look at that. Mm, yeah, keep playing. Keep playing. 100% Holly. Don't know what it's actually made of, actually. No, that's not it. This is the box. Whose wand is this? This is, um, mm, oh, this is Sirius's wand. It's not my wand. Sirius is my homeboy. I like me some Sirius. Now, he has some problems, and, you know, we're not going to talk about the things that he did or may or may not have done and his inability to keep it together and his extreme bullying, um, and he is a Gryffindor and, you know, all, all the things considered. But, wand is pristine. This, this is my homie. This is my third leg. Besides that, I have a pimple. I know of a pimple. It was me. I'm the reason that I have a pimple. Okay, I have another one. None of your business. It was me. I am the reason why I have a pimple. That being said, if at any point in time you see that I don't I have a different clothing on, don't mention it. It's hot. I am burning. The window's open. The fan is on. If you hear oh, that's on y'all. I'm sorry because I ain't gonna hold you. It's it's hot. It's hot. Okay, it's really hot. I'm not lying. I don't know why. what's going on recently. I don't know if maybe my body just hitting different, but it's hot. I'm getting older. I don't know. Heat flash, okay? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, guys, so I'm doing a voiceover because I cannot figure out how to record, do the thing, open it, talk at the same time. I just couldn't do too many things. Bam. Obviously, amazing packaging. It has a mirror. It has a letter. The inside has a design on it. Super cute. The first thing is the lipstick. As you saw, Herbology lipstick. Very cute. Second thing they give you is a lip mask. It is a cauldron lip mask. I struggle with that box like immensely. Um, very cute on the inside. Very cute on the outside. I struggle to put that back too. Bam. This is the palette. So it does spin, which is super cool. It comes with four palettes for each house. It's magnetized. So when you close it, it closes all the way every time. Tissue paper, the full works, the names of the palettes. I mean, the, um, colors match with the palette, match with the house. It's all, all the things, all, all the things. Okay. Boom. So it has a second layer. Those brushes, this whole time I thought they come with the box. They do not. That one comes with the box. Those brushes were extra brushes my best friend bought me that um, she put in there. And my mind just couldn't compute. So bam, this is the potion lip glosses. Um, each lip gloss work, like is a different potion and it goes with the houses, which is really cool. So ready to like get into that. Alright guys, so I changed because it's super hot up in here. In order for me to have like good audio, I have to close the window, turn my fan off, my door is closed. Um, there's no AC, like, so, like, we have AC, but there's no AC. So, you know, everything has to be, like, shut down, and I'm super, super, super hot. Y'all don't even understand, I have this bright light on my face, so you know I'm hot. Now, next thing next is this lip mask. Um, the packaging is obviously, ready already looked at it beautiful um i have not even scooped it so now we're gonna do a little scoop to scoop because my lips is dry because it's hot and i'm just gonna ooh, ooh, oh shit i done scoop half the damn thing out oh it looks like um oh when you start moving it around it becomes really soft like hold on like <laughs> okay my bad. I play too much. I play too much. 
it smells like almost like peppermint but it doesn't like it's almost peppermint it feels oh you know what this smells like tea tree oil this smells like tea tree oil i put way too much i don't want to put it back in there so i'm just gonna wipe it off let me look at the ingredients actually because um what i do i was kind of like what's the ingredients to these things like what's the what's the ingredients my lips now look shiny as hell it looks like i feel like you could wear this as a lip gloss okay so i'm gonna read this out really quickly um as a budding witch or wizard you want to bring this magic cauldron everywhere you go our magic cauldron lip mask features a light lavender color that applies transparent on the lips for a gloss like sheen plus this special brew ultra hydrating meadow foam seed oil formula nourishes lips over time with continued use do you don't you just love magic um hmm Hmm. Ingredients include poly is booting tri diseal, tri millitate, hexyl palmitate, arcti Okay, no, no, no. Only thing that I see that looks looks like something is seed oil that's it but this is meadow foam i don't know what meadow foam is yeah oh in red seven lake blue one lake there's the colors flavor aroma flavor slash aroma okay but it's, you know what with that being said feels great it kind of has like a tingle on it and it really ain't that it's a lot of names i don't know but i can look them up but it really ain't that um it ain't that uh ain't that many ingredients i like it i'm gonna sit on this with my lips for like a few minutes while we go through boom while we go through um the eyeshadow swatches and then i will so you guys how it feel okay so now let's get into the swatches for the eyeshadow so there's four eyeshadow palettes everybody has a house blah blah, blah you already saw boom so we're gonna go ahead and swatch these now these are the colors right here so we have hard work patience trustworthy and oh i lied hard work so we have hard work patience humility and trustworthy i love this color here it is like pure glitter pure and then I'm going on with um, a makeup wipe in between swatches and I'm just clearing my palms off so my palms might be like a little damp which could darken the colors just a little bit. I am burning. Next we have is the Ravenclaw palette. I love blues. I've used a lot. Hold on. What's going on? Come on babes. Come on babes. I've used a nigga. Yeah these are the blues. Um, I did not swatch these so I'm very excited. Ooh. Oh, oh, bitch. And so we have curiosity, creativity, wit, and wisdom. Damn, there we go. There we go. I would change this color, which is the color called curiosity, because lights going back up. Hold on. Because the color is um green. The color is green. I don't. The color is green. It's like, it's like a green blue. It's like a greenish blue, like a like an in between. But it's it's pulling green. So that's kind of like, like you know what I'm saying. Like this should be this should be blue, and this should be blue. But yet it's not. But the name is hidden on this one. Can you see them good? Okay, actually this one's not that bad. It could be on my glasses. I don't know. This is bravery. Then we have courage determination am i tripping no that's not determination this is daring that's determination i've used de determination as a blush um i like it it does pull darker than what it looks like here again i love the there we go if i turn like to the corner now this is the most important palette the last palette and this is where my my gripes come to play y'all not about to sit here and play me as a slytherin that's what you're not about to do um because i have my wand 
I'm not afraid to use it. Thank you. Um, lips is feeling good. Oops. Now, this is where I'm getting a little mad. Each house had names that go with their peoples. It had names. Everything was a characteristic. For some reason, one of our characteristics names is Destiny. Why is our names Destiny? We have ambitious, cunning, leadership. What's destiny? What is what is that? What is that? That's disrespect. That's what that is. That's disrespect. But anyways, I mean, there's a million other like words you could have used to describe us. Intelligent. Creative. Uh, 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 sneaky. I would have took that. You know what I'm saying? Secretive. Um, hold on. I'll be your back. Hold on. Ambitious. Resourceful. Clever. Decisive. Thoughtful. Because we'd be thinking we care about others. But at least you could have did clever. I would have took clever. Or resourceful. Like resourceful is a good one. That would have slapped. I might have to go look up words to describe it because I was tripping. But yeah, y'all have me tripping. But I do like this palette. I don't know why the flying fuck I'll be using army green for whatever purpose. There we go. We got cunning, ambition. That is leadership. This is leadership. This one right here is destiny, but I'm calling this resourceful. Let's get to it. Now, I'm always going to be doing a green heavy, green forward look today. But with that being said, um... I'm going to be dipping and trying to use a little bit of every single palette. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the this flat. Mm, there we go. This brush right here. It's kind of flat, but it's also fluffy. Um, and I'm going to be taking this color from the um, Ravenclaw palette called Creativity. So another thing I do notice, though, is when you just a little like lightly touch it, it's coming off, bitch. It's coming off. And okay, just a little fallout. Not a lot. Not a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this color into, you know, my outer lid. I be making shit up. I just want y'all to know. I just make up makeup looks. I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, so we taking this fluffy brush, dipping back into that same color, and just going ahead and brushing it out a little bit. Um, guys, last three weeks, I have not posted a video. I know. And y'all gonna be like, mm-hmm. You said every Thursday. Look, let me tell you exactly what happened, y'all. Y'all don't care, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Long story short, your girl recorded a video each week. Trust and believe. I recorded a video each and every week. And it just didn't make it out. All of it was my fault. But, you know, I never said it wasn't my fault. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely, though, my fault. But in my defense, I did try. I might regret this, but I'm going to take this color. And I'm going to go out and try to blend it in and just give it, like, a little, I don't know, the leadership. Hold on. Army green with the fluffy, like, oh, my God, this went wiped around it twice. It just picked up so much product. But anyways, like for I'm gonna give you guys some examples of each. I'm gonna give you guys examples of each and every time. So week number one. Okay, that just had the most fallout I ever. So I should have tapped that. My bad. My bad. But week number one, that was only that was on me. I got COVID. I got COVID in New Year's. So guess who didn't? I couldn't really do much. Go out. Didn't have any money. So. Christmas happened, New Year's happened, got COVID right legitimately the first day. Like, I got COVID. Boom, had COVID. I had something already at the house to make a video in. Making the video, the thing I was making a video about broke. Thanks, Five Below. Thanks. That actually looks kind of good. Hold on, y'all. They're going to play me. <laughs> I was talking shit about this color, Mr. Army Green, but um, Army Green kind of slapped. Then, after... Um, that week, right, I ended up posting a video anyway, not that Thursday, but the next Thursday, and that was the full face of lipstick video. I got that video out. Thank you. I tried. Okay. Ooh. Honestly, I do like the color so far. The fallout, though, is 
impeccable. I haven't had a felt like eyeshadow. I use like one eyeshadow palette that I love like over and over again. So the idea like, you know, it is nice to have new colors and stuff. I do love them. The color like the co even though I was talking shit, I like the colors. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't like the fallout though. Bam. Now I'm going to go ahead into the black color Destiny aka Resourceful. I'm going to use it the same flat brush that I was using before. So yeah, the same flat brush I was using before to go into that black. So the next week I shot a video. It was a makeup video. And in this makeup video in which I shot, I shot it three times. The first time I shot it, I was on my way somewhere. I was like, oh, you know, it'll be cool to do this new look for the first time. And I'll be in a rush. It'll be exciting. I did not talk. The whole video, I had no words to say. I was so focused on not looking stupid that I couldn't even communicate words. So I was like, okay, well, that's that. That's a no for that. So I like stopped mid filming. I'm just like, let me take all this makeup off, fix it, go to my dentist appointment. That day was just a horrible day. I couldn't finish it, do anything. That day was Wednesday. Why did I wait so long to do my makeup, to do a video when I have a video due on Thursday? I don't know. I procrastinate. That's why. So then, Thursday hits, I shoot a video, I don't like it, delete it, do the video again, now I've been doing this for like three hours, it's hot, I'm shooting the video again, the third, th third time I'm shooting this video, and I get to the very end of the, look, I'm, it's a makeup video, I did my whole makeup's done, I'm just like, wow, this is boring, and I ended up just like, I can't, I'm not gonna have time to edit it, I need to go to work, I have blah, 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 so I didn't post it, boom. You would think that I would just edit that video for next week, my mind was like, no, the video's trash, don't edit it, so I didn't. So last week, I do a whole hair video, my hair, that's why my hair is like natural. I do a whole hair video, I'm supposed to do it on Monday, don't do it, take me, I'm still taking my braids down, Tuesday, don't do it, still taking my braids down, Wednesday, still taking my braids down, Thursday, I finally do the video. And guess what? I'm like, I'm not gonna have time to edit this. I'm just not gonna have time. So by the time I finish editing, it's gonna be like Saturday. So I'm also to save for next week. It's next week. You see where I'm going with this? Like, this is my problem. But today's Tuesday. And I'm shooting a video today on Tuesday because I'm changing my ways. I'm changing my ways. Before we continue, it's been about 30 minutes of having this lip on my um on my mouth i can definitely tell that it's on my mouth um it doesn't say like oh wipe it off after a certain amount of minutes or anything it kind of like alluded to the fact that you can kind of keep wearing it easy to take off it doesn't feel bad um out of 10 i would give the lip mask about an seven I feel like you can definitely feel it. It feels like there's something on your mouth, but it's a mask, so it should feel like that. My lips do feel like something happened. You know how like you put on lotion and you could tell that you got lotion on, like you rubbed it in? I feel like my lips feel like something happened to them. Um, so it doesn't feel bad at, at, at all. Um, but like, I wouldn't rate it. I was like, oh, this is an amazing lip mask, like blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, it's cute. It's cool. The packaging is great. That's what gives the extra points. Um, but you know, that's it. And also, I just don't know what any of these ingredients are. And that stresses me out. But that's, that's neither here nor there. Okay, moving forward. But yeah, I'm going to take, this is a different brush. It's smaller and flatter more densely packed i'm gonna go ahead and take this brush and now we're going to go into the green now this green is called cunning very excited okay now let's there we go now that's what i'm talking about okay boom like it's just pure glitter pure beautiful like look at that oh girl oh girl let me get close Oh, girl. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the silver color, which is called Ambition. We're just going to kind of give this a, a nice good wipe so you keep wiping on it. I feel like it, like the eyeshadows have like a little, the glitter ones have like a little seal at the top. And you just kind of, kind of keep, keep going at it till you break the seal and just pick it up. Let's see if I picked up enough product to go. 
Okay, bam. Ooh. Okay, so this is the finished eyeshadow look. I think it looks good. Like, I do makeup so that when my eyes are open, which is like, they're always open, um, that it looks good. I think it looks good. The only thing about it is because it's like pure glitter, pretty much, certain angles, it looks like there's nothing on my lid, but in reality, you see like, you see this like eyelid like right here, it looks like there's nothing, and then there's a, you know, you, you know what I'm saying, like, just the way the glitter is made. Okay, so I did everything on my base, now I just need to do blush, highlighter, and then lip gloss. Now, I did not touch lip gloss at all yet, I have not even swept them for myself, I don't even know like what they're going to look like, so we're going to go ahead and do a trial one on my hands before I put the lip gloss on, but before we do that, we're going to go ahead and dip into the Gryffindor palette and do shade Determination, it's a shade with a line on it for blush. Um, this is my blush brush, I love this brush, I don't know where I got it from, I'm just going to tap on it two times because like is it gonna dust off a little bit okay okay because pigmentation pigmenting i'm smile just gonna dap it on i'm scared of what it's gonna look like because this shit is strong because the shit is strong it's not meant for blush i know but i'm somebody who likes to put eyeshadow on their cheeks because i can you can definitely tell. You can definitely tell. It's like mad pigmented, like the eyeshadows. And sometimes that comes with fallout. And I'm willing to live with the fallout because the pigmentation is wild. Warm my face up. Okay, boom. Now I'm also going to take this color, Bravery. I'm going to use it as highlighter. I'm also going to take this color, Trustworthy. I'm going to use it as highlighter as well. We're going to go on to Bravery first. I'm just going to give it a little swirl. Like, legitimately, a little bit of that. Bam. And we're just going to start to place it. You can already tell it's eating. Can you see? Like, compared to this side, hold on. Let me see. Maybe I'm tripping. Let me hold on. I've been there because I like my highlighter to eat. There we go. I'm seeing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. I like this color. I love a good gold um, highlight just because I have brown skin. Gold highlighters just look the best with foundation. If you want something to like blend you up on a subtle level. I use my mirror because like I said, I wear glasses. Come on, y'all. I need to see. Bam. Let me get. I always do a little bit on the nose and a little bit on the chin. Now I'm gonna go in with the second highlighter. Um, so the other highlighter, I go from like here to like here. I go like I go like all the way up and down. The second highlighter, whenever I do like a second highlighter, I just let me swirl that good. Hold on. I just do just like right here. You know what I'm saying? Just to give it something else to talk about. You know, just, just to give the haters. Oh, shit. That's crazy. I don't know how to fuck. Oh, there we go. Just a little C-shape. Just a little C-shape to keep the haters hating. That's it. That's it. I love the colors. I love them. This eyeshadow looks really good. However, the fallout is detrimental. Even when you're just swirling the brush around the eyeshadow, a bunch of just crumbs appear. And that is like the, like, like, surefire way to just get eyeshadows, like, mixed all over the palette and get it dirty. That really, like, irritates me, like, a lot. I hate when that happens, I hate like when you tap it and just poof. I mean, that really, really upsets me. So that's what brings it down. Besides that, I am kind of a little, I'm a little tested by the fact that they um, gave one of our colors Destiny. I was feeling kind of crazy about um, this army green color, but it actually turned out to be really good. Don't knock it till you try it. I learned something new today. I really do like it. So I kind of like all the colors in this palette. I don't like that they gave Ravenclaw and um 
so they're in silver when at least they should have made one like like a dark gray silver and then this one could be like pure silver or something to make like a really higher contrast i really don't like that they give them the same freaking color um i also don't like that they kept you like this color is used like in both of i'm sorry no this color right here is used in this palette and in this palette it's kind of confusing like i mean they're they're slightly different still but it's like why and then also this shit is green this is green i don't i'm like i know my colors i i i, I that's green it might have a blue undertone it might be blue-ish but it's green baby it's green um i love the color though just not in this palette it should be blue so overall eight out of ten Bitch about to heat up. Okay, so we have four lip glosses. Each lip gloss is named after a different potion. Felix Fleshless Felicis Polyjuice Potion and Retentia and Draw of Living Death. Now, we're going to go ahead and swatch these. I have never swatched them at all. I have not even, I never, I even I haven't even took the damn tube out of the damn thing. So, let's get started. Boom. I'm talking to British accent right now, so get ready. <clears throat> So the first thing we have is Felix Felicis Fletchless Felicis Felix. We first have Felix here. Now Felix is obviously half a puff um colour. We're gonna go ahead and look at that, look at that glorious, honestly. Ooh, it's looking thick. The wand the wand is clear. The wand is clear. It's a clear Oh wow, I've never seen the packaging. Honestly, it's amazing. Let's go ahead and put this on my lips here. Oh wow, that's thick. Mm. I have never had a um lip gloss one that was clear before. It's like a clear plastic. That is amazing. That is really smart. I love the packaging. I've never seen a lip gloss package with this type of um, wand. This tubing, normal tubing, but the wand is really interesting. I've never seen it before. It's a clear gloss and you can obviously see that it has like gold flecks in it. Um, I do like it. It's thick. It's thick like um, you can feel it. You can feel your lips like stick together. I feel like when you're wearing it for a long time, it might become bothersome. You know how you'd be like dehydrated and you get that white on the inside of your mouth? Like, I feel like this might be a culprit of that. So, so the next person we're going to be talking about is Draw of Living Death. Um, obviously, you know, you know what this is. Um, it is a clear purple color. So it should give us a nice clear purple color. Hugh, I love just opening up a fresh tube. I just love this clear, what is it called? Clear pad foot? Clear foot? Clear lip gloss foot? I don't know. I learned about this before. Okay, let's go ahead and apply it on. It is weird using a clear... This has a name. I just can't think of it. I feel like it has a smell, but I'm not sure. I can't smell it. If it does, it's not really strong, which is great. It's just clear. It's just clear. Now we're going to be going on with Amortensia by Yum. So Amortensia is like a pinkish. It's like it's really like a pink, almost like um, Fruit Punch. Or like if you, if you drink Fruit Punch as a kid. That's what this reminds me of. Bam. Clear. We love that. Again, same thing. I know it has a tint on it. I know the other one had tint on it too. But it's really clear. Like, it's just clear. It's just a clear gloss. Like, um... We have Polyjuice Potion. Which obviously has a glitter. It's lime green. Pretty bright. Has a glitter, of course. The clear foot, I believe it's called. I'm going to go ahead and apply it. I actually like the applicator. Applicator! There we go. That's what it's called. It does have a smell. 
but it's so subtle I can't smell it also she's so hot in here I can't think it has green glitters but it isn't really showing out like I want to now out of all these lip glosses I like them all I think they're really cute I can wear them all every single day um they none of them are like really pigmented um um with that being said though i'm going to practice my hands just because maybe i'm ooh, tripping okay so as you can see this is the red one this is the green one i mean the purple one this is the red one the red one has pigment on it it has a little bit of something something the purple one really doesn't like if it um, it has pigment but it's not showing at all so i don't really know the purpose the yellow one is the same thing and the green one is the same thing as each other they just one has green one has yellow out of 10 i'm gonna give these a as a collection i will give them a seven and the reason why they're getting a seven is the packaging carries them hard they are just lip glosses they're just clear lip glosses the purple and the red don't really have like a strong color on them so it's just kind of clear the green and the yellow while i do like them because they have some glitter the glitter is not strong so like you see it but it's subtle if you're a subtle girl then that's fine um but packaging carries if the packaging wasn't as good as it would it probably would be like a five you know what i'm saying just because it's like they're not bad at all but they are sticky like my lips are sticking together and they're just lip gloss like that's it there's no there's nothing this is the herbology lipstick now i did try this one earlier and i wasn't going to wear this today but i think i'm going to wear it instead just to complete the look because this lipstick gives it gives to me and look at that beautiful 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 now different it's obviously it's a lipstick so it's different but i've seen some very highly pigmented lip glosses so as you can see it looks really good really shiny and this is my problem with the lipstick i just discovered this right now whoa darling so as you can see the glitter is all on the outside but then when you get to the inside there's kind of nothing there's glitter but it is nothing compared to the inside and I, I've just found this out and I'm kind of disappointed and I'm going to go ahead and also take the green lip gloss and go on top because I can so the score I'm giving for that because it bamboozled me is a 7 because I still really like it I don't know what I gave it before but I still really like it still the gloss really kind of gives it something more okay 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 yeah, so the gloss are seven, the lipstick seven. I still really like it. Overall, let's let me let me calm down for a second, and then you know we'll get together. I'm about to do some B-roll, and I thought to myself, who am I? Who am I? I know who I am. Why in the hell? I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this uh, cunning, and just go ahead and yeah. So that's what I needed. That's what I needed. Anyways, I'll be back. Okay, guys. So if you guys want to see another one of these reviews, they have other stuff. Care Bears, like I said, Frida Kahlo, and they have other stuff that I would probably try. Uh, probably Care Bears next because the packaging is super cute. Um, if you guys want to see any more of these makeup reviews for the She Glam, go ahead and leave a comment down below or just a thumbs up. Just leave a thumbs up. Actually, just leave a thumbs up. That lets me know that you want to see more of this type of content. But anyways, all in all, the whole box together. I'm going to give it a solid 8.5. I'm giving it a solid 8.5. And the thing that carries this box like the most is the packaging. I really, 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 really love the packaging. Um, I'm going to use all of them, incorporate them into my daily routine. None of them was like super trash. The eyeshadows are great. Um, Fallout, obviously. The lack of pigment in the lip gloss is kind of like eh. Um the lip mask is just a lip mask like i don't feel no positive negative way about it but i do like the lipstick i am mad that they bamboozled me with the glitter on the outside bamboozlement that's not right but it's more like a lip balm um than it is like a lipstick 
Um, but I do like it. It feels really great on the lips. Um, yeah, overall, everything is good. I did put some eyeshadow on my lips, the green eyeshadow that I used on my lids to give my lips a little bit more of something something because it was nothing nothing going on but yeah all in all i really liked it so if you guys like this video and you want to see more of these type of videos go ahead and leave a like so i know that you want to see more of these videos i'm sorry for the last few weeks but i have not got you any videos my bad damn anyways y'all have a great day it's been your girl me and um i'll see y'all later Wingardium Leviosa. Expediamus! <laughs>